As I pen these words as the outgoing chairman of the board of directors, I do so with a great sense of pride, admiration, and indeed respect for this organization called CAST and all those associated to it. The work I do at National Parliament grants me the privilege of traveling to different parts of the country, and while doing so, I meet with some key leaders in both the secular and sacred fields. It has become easy for me, almost second nature, to share on the God model that we have at CAST, because I have experienced firsthand the profound and life-changing impact it has had on individuals and families, and indeed communities. There is no doubt in my mind that cost is a God idea. In fact, I would even venture to say that cost was birthed in the portals of heaven and given as a babe to the leadership and the congregation of home ground Westville Baptist Church to nurture so that it may grow in stature, bringing glory and honor to our God. We have just celebrated the 10th anniversary of cost and it is no longer a babe but has transitioned from the toddler years and is fast moving to the young adult phase. I am keenly aware that just as our teenage children challenge us in so many ways, so too will cost. The foundational paradigms, concepts, structures and systems that were set in place 10 years ago may no longer apply to today. As teenagers take risks and begin to spread their wings, this is integral to their growth and maturity into adulthood. Under obviously the watchful eyes of their loving parents, as cost spreads its wings and soars into some uncharted territory, there is no doubt that it will face storms and headwinds. But the relationship that cost has with home ground and all of its partner churches as parents will assist in navigating through these storms and snares that the enemy may set before us. It is my biased opinion that the model that we have at cost as a non-profit organization with the vision and passion to break the cycle of poverty and inequality in Africa, embracing a sustainable and holistic focus is unparalleled. In a recent article presented by the United Nations on poverty unemployment reduction, with the focus on their Millennium Development Goals, it was stated that just eight of the world's top billionaires have a combined wealth greater than 3.6 billion people on this earth. The disparities in Africa, and South Africa in particular, are no different, evident by the fact that South Africa has the highest Gini coefficient, making us the most unequal nation in the world. Whenever the world presents with problems, I believe it should be the Church, the Bride of Christ, that should present with the solutions. This is precisely what cost has done, presenting practical, sustainable solutions to fractured communities, presenting with deep-seated levels of social economic de degradation. But how is this done? This is done in cost with regards to our relief services to combat poverty through the provision of food and clothing and initiate a process of development towards self-sufficiency. It is done through our education and literacy programs. We help reduce the low levels of literacy and education which are impediments to economic growth. It is done through our sport, youth uh, development programs, which help to combat HIV, AIDS, and fatherlessness and drug abuse through our whole life coaching approach. It is also done through our local economic programs, which create opportunities for people to find employment, development business, develop businesses, and further their careers so as to earn a decent income, thereby providing for their families. This is a God-given solution to the many and perplexing challenges facing our communities in South Africa. And cost is the vehicle through which he has chosen to implement these solutions. Cost cannot, must not, and will not fail if we continue to look to our source, looking unto the hills from whence cometh our help. Psalms 121 and verses 1. In conclusion, allow me to express my to my fellow colleagues on the cost board, to John Ben, the Board of Elders of Home Ground, to Jean Ray Chomain, the managers and community facilitators, volunteers, and our donors, a word of thanks and appreciation for your labor of love. Let this be your encouragement. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be he steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor 
in the Lord is not in vain. Thank you. God bless you. Stay blessed and stay safe.